welcome to Halloween costumes last minute and environmentally friendly. Do you know what's so scary about Halloween besides that oversized large unicorn costume that I was currently wearing? Plastic. Seriously, an estimated 2,000 tons of plastic waste will be thrown away this year. That's around 83 million in plastic bottles. Save the turtles. Save the earth. Throw away your straws. Stop buying Halloween clothing. Today I'm going to show you just a few different outfits you can make from the outfits that you own currently or just by thrifting a few things. So have fun, save the earth, and be happy while you're doing it. With Greta Thunberg literally calling out all the world leaders at the UN this year, I thought Sexy Dead Earth would be very on topic. What better way to make a statement than to show that you're environmentally aware and conscious? Just for this outfit, you can use any brown clothing that you own. I tucked in my shirt underneath my bra and then just pulled it a little bit outwards to make it cropped. And then I just found some dead leaves outside and taped it onto my shirt. Um, you can tape as many dead leaves as you want to. Save the earth, we have 10 years left. I got really obsessed with Friends this summer and trying to watch all of it before Netflix takes it off um, in December. And I'm literally Monica Jeller. I searched up Monica Jeller outfits on Google and it's literally so many just red camis and blue jeans. So really any pair of mom jeans would work as well as any just white shoes that you have and tank tops that's very 90s. <laughs> um, what's scarier than a visco girl? Really there are visco girl memes and TikToks everywhere. Chances are your parents know what they are and have made jokes about them before and this look is so easy to replicate. All you need is scrunchies, which you can get anywhere, um, a t-shirt, an oversized t-shirt, white shoes, and a fake hydro flask or a real hydro flask. And I used an inklet that I had from a while ago. And there you are, the most annoying girl on planet. This is like Little Red Riding Hood, but grown up because she's lost all her clothing and now she's <laughs> sexy and literally look more like Mary Magdalene than Little Red Riding Hood. But I just thought this was a very easy look to do because so many people have red in their closets and can just use anything red, have a basket and just pair some knee high boots to add on a more adult look and call it. I know there's a new Charlie's Angel movie coming out and I'm so excited but I will always, always love the old Charlie's Angel. I'm just basically Lucy Liu, um, but less sexy version of her, and she ties her hair back. All you need is a black low-cut shirt and black leather jeans or fake leather jeans or black leggings, honestly anything, or a black cami, just anything black. This is actually what I'm going to be for Halloween, the iconic... London tipped in. Anything from your class from 10 years ago works, honestly, the 2000s were a horrifying time. I kind of just mashed together a bunch of London's looks, like her hoop earrings, her necklaces, gaudy jewelry, and her love for pink. Of course, you can't forget about her dog and her little purse, which I had from last year, so I just reused that. Pulp Fiction is such an iconic and famous movie, so I thought it would just be Mia Wallace, aka the amazing and perfect Uma Thurman, and I am just made a little cigarette out of paper uh, because I don't have a cigarette and she just smokes all the time so I used it. I bought a wig to get her thicker bangs but I'm trying not to buy anything for this Halloween YouTube video. White button down works well for this costume and black jeans. I had wide leg cropped jeans and thin heels. Of course we all know that Mia Wallace died by snorting heroin instead of cocaine so I would create the iconic moment R.I.P. Rest in peace. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys care about the earth in any way, please subscribe. I'm joking. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please subscribe, thumbs up, and click that bell button.